Okay, I suppose we might as well just talk about this shit. So the nominees for the Game Awards this year are actually interesting, except for one. I'm actually happy that Smash, Mortal Kombat, Samurai Shot, and DOA are part of it, but Jump Force to me was the biggest middle finger if you want my personal opinion. I'm probably gonna- I'm voting for Smash. Not because I'm fucking showboating or anything, it's because I just think Smash has achieved a lot. And I feel in some way Smash deserves it. Although I would say Samurai Shodown and Mortal Kombat also deserve it. But for me, my vote would be Smash. Second place is Samurai Shodown and my third place would be Mortal Kombat 11. I think DOA is good for the most part, but I don't think it can compete. I don't think it should win, even though I like the game. I think the funny part is I think the reason they put Jump Force in the list, not because it's a good game, but due to the fact that since the list is actually pretty small, because there's a couple of fighting games that's not coming out until 2020, so the list would have only been those four games, so I guess that in a way that makes sense. But there's no way, I'm, there, I'm not going to lie, there's no fucking way Jump Force is going to win against these four games. Okay, maybe DOA 6 it could compete with, but there's no way it beats the other three. I would find it impossible and just weird if Jump Force wins. I guess this, I'm not saying, I'm not, okay, I'm not trying to shit talk anyone who likes Jump Force. I don't like the game. I think the game sucks. It got boring for me after like the first few days. Maybe people are different. Maybe they do enjoy the game. That's fine. But there's no way it deserves to win. And also out of the games, there's no way Jump Force should win at all. I'm not saying it doesn't deserve it, but I'm saying it doesn't deserve it. The other four have achieved more than what Jump Force has done. Exactly what has Jump Force achieved? The only thing I've seen online is people bashing this game saying it sucks and then any person who enjoys the game is trying to defend it saying they're all fucking haters or some shit. I don't know exactly what it's achieved and nor do I care. Honestly, I just feel if Jump Force wins compared to these other games, I think it's just an insult in terms of the fighting game community in general and just the industry. I just feel it would be a bigger impact than you think. As a fighting game enthusiast myself, I just find the nomination of Jump Force weird, especially since there's a lot of other fighting games that are actually really good. They don't have to be nominated or on this list, but there's plenty of them that are actually good, so the fact that this represents for 2019 is a bit strange to me, which is why I'm just against Jump Force winning. If you vote or you give a shit, I would say vote for any of the other four games, just don't vote Jump Force, because my vote's for Smash, so fuck it. So yeah, link in the description so you can check it out yourself. Until then, thanks for watching.